Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to calculate the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. Now I'll timestamp each part of the video below, so if you just want to skip through to an example at the end, you can do that. If this video is useful, then please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Let's see then how we can find the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. So given a 2x2 two two matrix A here, the determinant, which can be written in these three different ways, is equal to AD subtract BC. So the product of the leading diagonals subtract the other one. Okay, so it's pretty simple to calculate. Now, if we find the determinant and it's equal to zero, then we say our matrix is singular. And what this will mean is that it doesn't have an inverse. And we'll see this later on. If the determinant is not equal to zero, then we say the matrix is non-singular. So let's have a look at a couple examples because it's pretty straightforward. So here we have a matrix A and we're asked to calculate the determinant. So we say the determinant of A is going to be equal to, well, the product of the leading diagonals, so 2 multiplied by 7, subtract the other elements, so 3 multiplied by 1. And so we get the determinant is equal to 11. And so this matrix is non-singular. Let's have a look at this next example. So here we need to calculate the determinant of B. So again, we can say the determinant of matrix B is equal to 3 multiplied by 1, subtract 4 multiplied by 6. And so this time our determinant is equal to negative 21. Let's have a look at one final example where it says given matrix M is singular, find A. So we can see matrix M is equal to this thing here. So let's find the determinant. So the determinant of M is going to be equal to, well, A multiplied by 4, subtract 2 multiplied by 6. Now remember what it means for a matrix to be singular. It means its determinant is equal to 0. So we can say if M is singular, then we can say the determinant of M, or we could even write it like this. The determinant of M is equal to 0. And so therefore, 4A subtract 12 is equal to 0. So let's solve this. Let's add 12 to both sides, and we get 4A is equal to 12. Dividing both sides by 4, we get A is equal to 3. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it was useful. If it was, please do like uh, and subscribe and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.